It's Yeoman Chambers. Is she dead? There's more. Over here. God. She's still alive. Dr. Chakwas, are you okay? Shepard, you... you came for us. No one gets left behind. What about the others? Do you know where they are? They didn't make it. Chambers, Rupert, Gabby, half the crew. Gone. I watched them die. They were processed, rendered down into some kind of raw genetic paste and pumped through these tubes. Why are they doing this? What are they doing with our genetic material? Does it matter? If you'd gotten here sooner, you could have saved them. We needed time to prepare. We had no other choice. I'm sorry. No. I didn't mean to blame you. I just had to watch them as they died. I know you did the best you could. You saved my life. Thank you. We need to keep moving, Commander. Figure out what to do next. Joker, can you get a fix on our position? Roger that, Commander. All those tubes lead into the main control room right above you. The route is blocked by a security door, but there's another chamber that runs parallel to the one you're in. I cannot recommend that. Thermal emissions suggest the chamber is overrun with seeker swarms. Morton's countermeasure cannot protect you against so many at once. What about biotics? Could we create a biotic field to keep them from getting near us? Yes, I think it may be possible. I wouldn't be able to protect everyone. But we might be able to get a small team through if they stayed close. I could do it too. In theory, any biotic could handle it. Shepard, who do you want to maintain the field? Joker, send me the location of the landing zone. We'll meet you there. We've all got our assignments. Let's move out. Moving out. Try to stay close, Commander. Damn, the swarms are interfering with radio contact. You ready for this? Let's go, Commander. Incoming. I see you, Shepard. this position. Tell me when you're ready to move.
genetic destiny. When you're ready to move up, Commander. Ready to move, Commander. Real firefight. I'll hold this position until you're ready to move out.
as I can. I can see the entrance. Need to get there soon. What's your position? We're pinned down at the door, taking heavy fire. We're coming. Just hold on. Get this door open. Come on. Seal the door. I'm okay. Just need a second to catch my breath. Joker, are you at the rendezvous point? I'm here, Commander. Chuck was in the rest of the crew just showed up. Kasumi's group just arrived, Shepard. No casualties. Excellent. Now let's make it count. Edie, what's our next step? There should be some nearby platforms that will take you to the main control console. From there, you can overload the system and destroy the base. Commander, you got a problem. Hostiles massing just outside the door. Won't be long till I bust through. A rear guard could defend this position and keep the Collectors from overwhelming us. Pick a team to go with you, Shepard. Everyone else can bunker down here and cover your back. I'm ready, Commander. Me too. Anything to say before we do this? The Collectors blindside their targets, hit and run. As powerful as they are, they're cowards. They've never had to stand and fight the best of us. That's you. I don't know if they can feel fear, but we're damn sure gonna give them the opportunity. Hit them hard. One way or another, it ends here. Well said. Let's go finish this. Yeah. 
Sam Shepard. Face your annihilation. You cannot resist. Your form is fragile. Tubes lead to this spot. Edie, what can you tell us? What are they doing? The tubes are feeding into some kind of superstructure. It is emitting both organic and non-organic energy signatures. Given these readings, it must be massive. Shepard, if my calculations are correct, the superstructure is a Reaper. Not just any Reaper. Human Reaper. Precisely. It appears the collectors have processed tens of thousands of humans. Significantly more will be required to complete the Reaper. What did the collectors gain by turning humans into this Reaper shell? They may be facilitating the Reaper equivalent of reproduction. Or it may serve another purpose. I do not have the data to speculate further. However, it is clear that the collectors are merely pawns. The technology and ability needed to create this Reaper is not their own. It is likely that different species construct each Reaper. In this case, the collectors provide the labor. The collectors are just Protheans. Why would they help the Reapers? The Reapers subdued the Protheans long ago. Probabilities suggest they attempted to create a Prothean Reaper, and failed. Over time, they adapted the Protheans to suit their needs, changed them, turned them into workers, tools for the Reapers. They're building it to look like a human. Why? It appears that a Reaper's shape is based upon the species used to create it. Reapers are machines. Why do they need humans at all? Incorrect. Reapers are sapient constructs, a hybrid of organic and inorganic material. The exact construction methods are unclear, but it seems probable that the Reapers absorb the essence of a species, utilizing it in their reproduction process. How many more humans do you think they try to take? Millions. Perhaps more. Impossible to know for certain. This Reaper appears to be in a very early stage of development. An embryo in human terms. So it's not alive yet? We can still stop it from being created? The process can be stopped, but it is unclear exactly how much it has developed. I cannot, for example, tell you if it has awareness. Edie, any suggestions on how we take it out? The large tubes injecting the fluid are a weak structural link. Destroying them should cause the supports to collapse and the Reaper to fall. 
Give us a minute, Edie. We gotta take care of some old friends first. Enemies incoming! Heavy weapons. Team, status report. It's safe. We are holding, but they keep coming. A quick exit is preferable. Head to the Normandy. Joker, prep the engines. I'm about to overload this place and blow it sky high. Roger that, Commander. Uh, Commander, I've got an incoming signal from the elusive man. He's patching it through. Shepard. You've done the impossible. I still have to destroy the base. Not necessary. I have a better option. I'm looking at the schematics Edie uploaded. A timed radiation pulse would kill the remaining collectors, but leave the machinery and technology intact. This is our chance, Shepard. They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that framework could save us. They liquefied people, turned them into something horrible. We have to destroy the base. Don't be short-sighted. Our best chance against the Reapers is to turn their own resources against them. I'm not so sure. Seeing it firsthand, using anything from this base seems like a betrayal. If we ignore this opportunity, that would be a betrayal. They were working directly with the Collectors. Who knows what information is buried there? This base is a gift. We can't just destroy it. No matter what kind of technology we might find, it's not worth it. Shepard, you died fighting for what you believed. I brought you back so you could keep fighting. 
Some would say what we did to you was going too far, but look what you've accomplished. I didn't discard you because I knew your value. Don't be so quick to discard this facility. Think of the potential. We'll fight and win without it. I won't let fear compromise who I am. Miranda, do not let Shepard destroy the base. Or what? You'll replace me next? I gave you an order, Miranda. I noticed. Consider this my resignation. Shepard, think about what's at stake, about everything Cerberus has done for you. You... Let's move. We've got ten minutes before the reactor overloads and blows this whole station apart. Here, Joker. Did the ground team make it? All survivors on board. We're just waiting for you. Human, you've changed nothing. Your species has the attention of those infinitely your greater. That which you know as Reapers are your salvation to destruction.
Yeah, I get the gist of it, Edie. Hold on! Shepard, you're making a habit of costing me more than time and money. Too many lives were lost at that base. I'm not sorry it's gone. The first of many lives. The technology from that base could have secured human dominance in the galaxy, against the Reapers and beyond. Human dominance? Or just Cerberus? Strength for Cerberus is strength for every human. Cerberus is humanity. I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic from the start. I'm not looking for your approval. Harbinger is coming, and he won't be alone. Humanity needs a leader who's looking out for them. From now on, I'm doing things my way, whether you agree or not. Don't turn your back on me, Shepard. I made you. I brought you back from the dead. Joker, lose this channel.